guys, welcome to the next video. And today I have a couple of calculus questions for you guys. I would request you to pause, see the question, pause and try it out yourself. And then you can uh, check the solutions here. Limit x goes to 0 of the expression 2 to the power x minus 1 upon square root of 1 plus x minus 1 is equal to. So first of all, you need to see what formation are you getting in terms of limits? So the first thing that you should always do when it's a limit question, just directly substitute and see what's happening to the expression. So we will directly substitute zero. So this expression is almost like two to the power zero minus one upon square root of 1 plus almost 0 minus 1. So which will give you a 0 by 0 scenario. The moment you get a 0 by 0 scenario, you must think of some kind of simplification if possible. You have 2 to the power x minus 1 upon square root of 1 plus x minus 1. So what I can do is I can rationalize this term in order to get rid of the square root in the denominator. So what you will do, you will multiply and divide by square root of 1 plus x plus 1. Multiply and divide. That's what is the process of rationalization. And in this way, what you are basically doing is you are creating a square minus b square. So in the numerator, you will have x plus 1 plus 1. Whole thing upon, in the denominator, you have a square minus b square. That is the square of 1 plus x minus 1 square. So this will give you 2x minus 1 multiplied by square root of 1 plus x plus 1. Whole thing upon, the square root goes away, you get 1 plus x minus 1. So 1, 1 cancels. Now what you are getting is two to the power x minus 1 upon x multiplied by square root of 1 plus x plus 1. Why am I writing it like this? Because we have already, in one of our pre previous questions, we have elaborated what the limit turns out to be as x tends to 0 of the expression, some number a to the power x minus 1 upon x. So now put the limit. In limits, you can always segregate limit, separate terms like this because of one of the properties of limits. So limit of product of two functions is same as product of limit, right? So you have 2 to the power x minus 1 upon x multiplied by, we can separate the limit like this, square root of 1 plus x plus 1. Now put x tends to 0. So this is limit x tends to 0 of a to the power x minus 1 upon x, which turns out to be log a to the base e. So that means this term will, when you take the limit and solve, it will give you log base e to, and here when you will put the limit, you will get 2. So it is 2 log e2. Now let's look at our options. Our options are also in terms of that. So options were 2 log 2 log 2 upon 2, 2 log 2. So 2 log 2 is the correct answer. So d should be the correct answer. Let's take another question. This time, if x to the power y is equal to y to the power x, then dy by dx is. You have four options, y by x, x by y, y by x, multiplied by certain terms, 
and d option is x upon y log y upon log x let's see which is the correct answer what we will have to do in this case is we will have to take log on both the sides so you have we are given that x to the power y is equal to y to the power x take log on both the sides you will get y log mind you we are taking natural logarithm even if i'm writing log that is that means base is e log x is equal to x log y okay let's differentiate on both the sides so when you will differentiate on both the sides what you're going to get is <clears throat> Using the product rule, you will basically get differentiating with respect to y, uh, with differentiating with respect to x, you will get, so one time keep log x as it is, differentiate y, so it's going to be dy by dx. The other time, y will be kept as it is and you will differentiate log x with respect to x. So you will get one by x. Similarly here, <laughs> One time, you will keep x as it is, differentiate log y. So you will get 1 upon y dy by dx. Plus, one time keep log y as it is and differentiate x with respect to x. So you will get just 1. Now collect the terms with dy by dx. So dy by dx, from here I have log x. And from this side, minus x by y. And that's equal to log y. And let's take this term here. So minus y by x. So this gives me dy by dx is equal to x log y. Let's take LCM minus y, whole thing upon x, whole thing upon this goes down here. Let's take the LCM. Y log X minus X whole thing upon Y. So this means this Y goes up here, Y, and this is in the denominator X. And here X log Y minus Y upon Y log X minus X. And this should be the correct answer. Let's see if we have it here y multiplied by x log y minus y yes x in the denominator x multiplied by y log x minus x yes it is so b is the correct option i hope you got the answer right by yourself as well thank you very much i hope this helps